Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Quick video on um, sleep, right? Now, I made one a few weeks ago, actually a few months ago, on um, on the importance of sleep. So if you want more details, you want a longer version, you want to know the mechanism behind it, go check out that video. But I have to bring this topic up again because if you know me, you know I'm a big proponent of sleep, right? I, I, I won't shut up about it. Um, and I believe that if you're natural, you just cannot compromise your sleep, right? Um I actually have it at the top of my uh, anabolic ladder. You know, all, out of all the things you can do to maximize muscle growth as a natural trainee, sleep is at the top, right? And after that, you have water intake and protein and everything else, right? To me, everything else comes second. You cannot mess with sleep. Um, but again, when you watch that the longer video, I explain why on you know the science and the bro science behind it. But let's take a look at this study here because I have to bring this topic back up because. Uh, my clients will tell you, you know, every Sunday when we're doing a report, that's one of the first things I ask is, how was your sleep? How was your sleep? How was your sleep? Um, and in the comment section, it's the same thing. People are asking, well, what's the optimal amount? What's the optimal amount? How much should I sleep? Um, and is it really that important? So let's take a look at this study. All right, so back to the video. All right, so this study here, two weeks, and, I, and I've used this in the past. Uh, I've mentioned this a million times, but like I said, I need to bring this up again. Two weeks of dieting. Um, you have two groups, obviously. One group slept eight and you know eight point five hours. The other group slept five point five hours, right? Uh, and I want to put the details of the study in the description. You know, obese individuals, blah blah blah. Now check this out. Look at the results after just two weeks, right? Both groups lost three pounds, right? About three pounds of um, of weight. But look at the body composition. Look at where most of the weight loss came from. The group who slept eight and a half hours, right? And as you can see here, this this group here. Red is, is muscle mass, and obviously uh, blue is fat mass, right? So roughly an equal amount, right? It was almost half and half, right? So this is the group who slept eight and a half hours. Out of the three pounds that they lost, it was almost half and half, right? Now check out the group uh, that slept only five and a half hours. They also lost three pounds, but look where most of the weight loss came from. It was mo mostly muscle mass, right? Which is why I kept telling you guys, you cannot play around with sleep. And the difference of sleep was only three hours. But that three-hour difference, the body catabolized mostly muscle tissue, right? And I have a lot of people out there who are only sleeping five, four hours a day. And I know how important this is because, like I said, I was one of those guys, you know, when I was in college. And I was, you know, I was stressed to the max and, you know, some working and managing all these different things, being a father, blah, 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 blah. I, my sleep was horrible. Right. And that's when I lost the majority of my gains. And that's also when I put on the most fat. You know, that's why I keep telling you guys, uh, the, the calorie in, calorie out, motherfuckers keep driving me insane. Right. Because it's not that simple. Yes. Obviously, the end result is you want to be in a deficit when you're trying to lose weight. Everyone knows that. Right. You know, you're not, not going to go against the laws of physics. That's the end result. But the means to get there is very, very important. You can't just say, I'm going to go in a deficit and everything's going to fine. Yeah, you're going to lose weight. But as far as body composition goes. If you don't op optimize the other factors, right, like sleep and things like that, you're going to lose weight. But look, your body composition is going to be shit, right? Because who wants to lose three pounds and have the majority of that come from muscle, right? So, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it's calorie in, calorie out. But most of that calorie out came from muscle tissue, right? That's like you're telling you. Yes, you you know, you want to look at your calorie intake. Yes, you want to, you know, look at your energy balance. But you also have to, to look at other factors, such as protein intake, macros, micros and most importantly sleep look at that and, and that's why i always joke around and say sleep is like you know the legal steroid right because there's nothing more anabolic outside of obviously training there's nothing more anabolic uh, for a natural person than sleep and i give the example in the other video you know and i told you guys why do you think the time in your life when you put on the most muscle mass which is actually when you're a baby believe it or not when you're a baby that's actually when you put on the most muscle mass babies double in muscle mass not fat mass pure lean muscle mass from the time they're born uh, to about six months after that, right? And the time in your life when you put on the most muscle is when you sleep the most. That's all babies do is just sleep, 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 right? It's crucial for mental and physical development. And if a baby doesn't get enough sleep, they barely put on enough, you know, enough weight, even though they eat the same. So you cannot underestimate the importance of sleep, guys. Now, most of the complaints that I get about people who don't get enough sleep it's mainly because of lifestyle factors, right? You have work. I mean, look at the society we live in. You have, you know, most people just overburdened with work, uh, too much stress. Um, and if you're in that situation, you know, just 
look for a way around that, you know, especially if you're trying to maximize muscle uh, muscle mass or you're going on a cut and things like that. Now, the other group of people, which I have no sympathy for, are guys who are just up all night playing video games, right? Don't email me and message me and tell me that you're struggling with weight loss or putting on muscle mass if the number one reason why you're not getting enough sleep is because you're up all night playing Fortnite or whatever new game is out there, right? So it's either video games all night or Netflix, right? Watching TV till 2 o'clock in the morning and then waking up at like 5, 6, 7 and wondering, hey, you know, I, I don't know I don't know why I'm skinny fat. I'm doing everything else right, you know? You have to optimize sleep, guys. And there was another study, for those of you who might think, well, that one was only two weeks. Let's look at a long-term study. This one here. Now, this could be eight weeks of dieting, right? And it's interesting because this group, look, the difference in sleep was only one hour. You have a seven-hour group and a six-hour group, right? And this group, the six-hour group, try to do catch-up sleep, meaning Monday through Friday, you know, they didn't sleep enough. But on the weekends, they try to pretty much catch up. And the conclusion was that it still doesn't make a, a difference. Look the amount of fat loss, right? The percentage of fat loss from the group that got seven hours of sleep. So out of all the weight that they lost, right, the percentage that came from fat was massive. And this is from the group who slept seven hours, right? And look how much muscle mass they lost. Now look at the group that only slept six hours and tried to do casual sleep on the weekend. Most of the weight they lost came from muscle. Guys, this is huge. Look at the difference. And this is only a one-hour difference. You cannot, and this is an eight-week study. The sample size was much larger than, than the previous one, right? And I could, I could show you these studies all day. There are so many more, right? But do you, do you really need studies to prove to you how important sleep is for body composition, right? I told you time and time again, my friends who sleep the most were also the ones who were able to put on muscle the fastest. You guys remember Lazy Lion? That's why we called him Lazy Lion, because he used to sleep so fucking much. And when I put him on the same program that I put everybody else on, you know, no cholesterol load, HSP training, blah, 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 he grew like a weed, even though he has some of the worst genetics. Same thing with Muhammad. And I was mentioning these two guys because, like I said, they had some of the worst genetics you could think about. But one thing that they stayed disciplined on was sleep. I told them, guys, you're not sleeping. Don't even don't even waste my time. I'm not going to waste my time trying to train you guys if you're not getting enough sleep. And the results speak for themselves. You can go back and see the old videos from years ago. You can see how fast that grew, you know. So so I'm not just being a dick. I'm not just being annoying when I keep reminding you guys over and over in the comment section. You know, People will ask me questions that have nothing to do with sleep. And my answer will always be, how are you managing recovery? How are you managing sleep? How are you managing water, you know? Stop asking me all these questions about progressive overload and volume and, and and all these other things that people think are so fucking important when the recovery part of the equation is lacking. It's all about recovery, guys. It's all about recovery. Once you're recovering well, it's easy to increase your volume. It's easy to progressively overload. It's easier to do everything else. Now, keep in mind, those guys were obviously not bodybuilders, you know, Obviously, if they're trained, they would have retained more muscle. But also keep in mind that when you train, the stress that you put on your body is also higher, right? So, in fact, you need more sleep when you train, right? You um, you can't compare yourself to, obviously, they're using uh, regular people in these studies or base individuals and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but you can't just say, well, you know, I kind of work out, so that's fine. Well, no, because if you train, you also need more sleep, right? You can't compare yourself to the average person. You can't say, well, the average person just needs about seven or eight hours of sleep. I'm going to do the same thing. No, you're not the average person, motherfucker. You train, especially if you do uh, full body workouts or if you do nuclear silver load or even if you do just high volume splits, right? You're putting a, a, a greater than, than normal stress on your body. So the need for recovery goes up. Right. And that includes sleep. So, in fact, with training, you have to sleep more. Right. That's why I keep telling people, like, hey, if you're training, you're lifting weights, you're training hard, high volume, high intensity, high frequency. You need even more sleep. But yet people who train balls to the wall are sleeping just as much as the average person. Just use common sense. You will not get optimal results doing that. Recovery is king, guys. So, in fact, I recommend at least eight hours of sleep for people who train. And when I say at least, again, when I say at least, that's the minimum, meaning that's a bad day, meaning you had a bad day, uh, something happened, and the lowest amount of sleep you were able to get is eight. For some reason, whenever I tell people at least, they think that's the goal. All right, I'm going to go for eight. No, no. Eight is the bare minimum. Try to get 10. Try to get nine. 
you know, add some naps on top of that, right? But as far as night undisturbed sleep, you definitely want to get about eight to ten, right? No less than eight, ideally nine, ten. Your body needs it. And then throughout the day, if you can, take some naps. You'll be amazed at the improvements you make not only in your body composition, but in your strength. Your strength is going to go up. Uh, your ability to do volume is going to go up. You're going to be able to tolerate more volume. And remember, strength, volume, all those things are components of progressive overload. So you're going to get the most out of your program by increasing your sleep. Now, if you're looking for tips on how to improve sleep, uh, again, I mentioned it in a, in a previous video. Um, so go check that one out. But quick recap, number one, go to bed early, obviously, right? Don't try to stay up till, you know, midnight, one or two o'clock in the morning. Go to bed early. Number two, try to train earlier in the day, right? Because obviously if you train too late, your sympathetic nervous system is going to be firing like crazy. It's going to be hard for you to fall asleep. You're going to have adrenaline going through your body. Um, your dopamine is going to be a bit too high. Your adrenals are going to be firing. Try to train a bit early. This way, when the evening comes, it's time to cool down and wind down. And if you guys know what I'm talking about. When you have a crazy, intense workout late in the day, it's almost impossible to fall asleep. Also, keep in mind that if you're training too late and you take pre-workout, it's loaded with caffeine. So that's going to keep you up. Number three, obviously turn the lights off early. So around, you know, let's say two, three hours before you go to bed, turn the lights off, right? It's going to help your body produce melatonin. And the lights, that include your, your phone, that includes your laptop, your computer, all of this shit. Number four, blast the AC, right? Turning on the AC is going to help you fall asleep, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. In the wintertime when it's cold as fuck, people have no issues falling asleep. You know, it's cold as hell. You just go in a blanket, boom, you're knocked out in a matter of minutes. Another thing you could do is hot showers. Hot showers help you fall asleep for most people, right? Take a really hot shower and then turn on the AC, go under the blankets, boom. Uh, another thing is coffee, like I mentioned earlier. Try not to drink coffee in the afternoon because obviously coffee has a very, very, very long uh, half-life, right? It's going to stay in your system a lot longer than you think. Another thing you could do is music. I don't know about child, but music helps me fall asleep. Um, and it also works for a lot of people, depending on what kind of music you put, right? Don't, don't try to use fucking... Uh, Metallica, you know, crazy ass death metal, uh, hardcore music, that, that shit's not going to work, right? Try to listen to something relaxing, try classic music, that helps a lot. Uh, another thing you can do is audiobooks, right? Audiobooks usually knock people the fuck out, right? Especially if you uh, don't like to read. And it's a win-win scenario, right? You're getting your reading in, right? Through the audiobook. And if you fall asleep, great. If you don't fall asleep, your knowledge gains are going up. And like I mentioned in the other video, uh, sex. Sex helps a lot. You know, I don't know about y'all, but I get very sleepy um, after I smash. Uh, most most people have the same uh, reaction, right? Most people are sleepy after sex. So sleep, uh, eat your meat, whatever you got to do um, to knock yourself out. And last but not least is melatonin, right? Try supplementing with melatonin. But try to avoid having to rely on melatonin, right? That's like a last, last resort, right? You guys know I'm not a big fan of supplements when something could be done naturally. So only try melatonin if nothing else works. But that's it. Hope this video helps. I uh, have uh, I might do a FAQ this Friday. Don't quote me on that because I'm very busy. So if you have questions, just send them in. You know, write them in the comment section. All right, guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell. Visit my website and grab a copy of my ebook and training program. Go to www.team3dalpha.com and don't forget to use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus Overload.